So your success story is to reach the most vulnerable in the most remote area mm-hmm. where others cannot reach. This is the most successful story. And the judgment of your success is them, the cognition of your contribution to the development of their life. So they come and say, thank you for the clean water supply. Thank you for the toilets which you built for us. Thank you for the clinic that we needed. You might build the clinic and there's another clinic. Like in certain areas, some Islamic-minded organization just built mosques. There's a mosque in the city. There's a mosque in the town. There's a mosque in the village. Build a school. Build a road. Build a clinic. Build a market. Buy animals. Vaccinate the animals. Vaccinate the children. This is it. So why have five mosques in an area where there was 500 people? And one mosque will be enough for them. Because my donor in my country say, you have to build me a mosque. Yes, fine, but there's a mosque there. Expand the mosque. No, it has to be written by the name of my donors. This is wrong. Wrong because we overspend the money on a project that the community does not need it at the moment. Why the Prophet, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah has made the land a tahur and the place to worship, a masjid. If I have the money in my hand, a money whether to build the school or a clinic or to build the mosque, I will start with the school. Because people can pray anywhere. Then the community stands on its feet. Okay? Then I can build the mosque. So, but somebody built five, ten mosques in one area which needs two mosques, this is wrong.